Hey everyone, Andrea here from Paxton, Illinois. You can also call me hashtag Andy Girl. And uh, I'm gonna give it a minute, see if anyone hops on. And I know I look a mess, I'm sorry, but this is real life. I work outside and it rained on and off today and I'm just a mess. But I'm still gonna get on here to talk to you guys. So, if you are live with me, drop a hmm, drop a heart below, and if you are watching the replay, drop a sunflower below. Man, my phone must have updated because all kinds of things are going on right now. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, How is everyone doing today? I'm. I was just thinking about things to help people on the keto diet, um, tips and tricks. I've been thinking about this all day. I have them written down. They're not in any specific order of importance. They might not even <clears throat> make sense or they might, it might help you. I hope this does. Please share this out. Um, this could be not only for the keto diet, but for any diet or lifestyle change in general. So totally please share this out to your page, to food groups, whatever you want all right and please comment the word shared after you have shared all right number one research 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 the keto diet's been around for 120 years so that right there like says to me a lot because um, it's been around for so long and so researched there's so much science backed up behind it that that's like the number one thing to make a decision to start a keto lifestyle. Like I know there's tons of other diets and things to try out there, which I'm not going to mention because I'm not dissing any of them, but I've pretty much tried everything and you really need to do the research. Make sure keto is for you. It is a high fat, moderate protein and very low carb diet. It is very hard to switch over to that, but what I did when I first started doing the keto diet, I started in January of this year, and I just started looking up recipes first. And I'm probably going to mumble on and get off subject here, but I looked up recipes and looked up what I could actually eat, and I was like, I think I could do this. And I read all kinds of reviews. It's, you know, it's always going to be back and forth. You have to understand that with any diet, people are going to be with it or they're going to be against it. So you just totally have to choose for you. All right. Let's see. Number two. <laughs> if, um, okay. Grocery shopping list. You guys need to get grocery lists together before you even decide to do this. Like clean out your refrigerator, clean out your cupboards, get grocery lists and recipes ready. I use Pinterest all the time. Pretty much put the word keto in front of whatever you think you wanna make. So keto mashed potatoes, that would be cauliflower. Okay, keto um, tacos, that'd be shredded cheese in a circle baked and you make your own taco shells. There's other ways to do it, but those are the simple things. That's what I like about keto. You can pretty much find any kind of recipe and convert it into keto. And if you guys need help with shopping lists or grocery guys or what to do, not what not to do, Drop the word group below. I am a part of Amazing Keto Group that's totally friendly, has grocery lists and all kinds of amazing support. So if you want to be part of that group, drop the word group. And if you are new, definitely add me on Facebook. I do um, lives on keto food all the time and I'm part of a great group. Hi, Joan. So if you need access to grocery lists and don't even know where to start, I would um, drop the word group below. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to uh, put these in somewhat kind of order next to each other, but it's going to be kind of out of whack. So <laughs> make sure you guys add me if you want to be part of the group. Otherwise, I won't be able to add you to the group. You have to be friends with me. Sherry Edwards, you are part of that group. 
Okay, number three, third tip on doing keto, or I guess any diet, really. Uh, you need to make sure you have daily vitamins and electrolytes. Okay, so when you're on the keto diet, it acts as a diuretic, so you're gonna be urinating a lot, you're gonna you lose a lot of water, so with that you lose um, you minerals and electrolytes, so you definitely need to replace them. So I just use like a one a day woman's. I do take biotin sometimes for my hair, skin and nails, and then electrolytes, like um, add pink Himalayan salts to all your food. I know that sounds weird, but the pink Himalayan salt has more minerals in it than the regular table salt. And you are gonna want to put that in your food and you also can put it in your water, in your drinks. I drink Propel most days, at least one or two Propels. And um, if you start on the keto diet and you're just brand new to it, definitely make sure you have your electrolytes because you could get the keto flu and feel just horrible and headaches are a sign of loss of electrolytes so make sure you drink half your body yeah half your body's weight in ounces of water at least and make sure you have electrolytes okay so <laughs> if um, let's see number that would be four because I, I can kind of going out of order here number five when you're going out to eat, all right, when you're going out to eat, plan ahead, okay? Stay away from fast food restaurants where you know you're going to cave in, where you know you're going to want to cheat, where the smells are just amazing and you're just, you're just craving, craving all, all this stuff around you. Look at menus ahead of time on the websites that they have on the internet and the websites that they have. <laughs> Just plan ahead for what you're going to eat. Put it into My Fitness Pal. So that is my next tip. Track your food on My Fitness Pal. That's where I do it. So if I'm helping you, hi Laura, definitely get on My Fitness Pal because that's what I'm most familiar with. If you need my help, I can help you set up the macros. I usually have mine at 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carb. And if that seems really overwhelming, I would just stick with the carb part and worry about that part first because that's basically what the keto diet is, is getting really, really low carb. So if too much tracking and too much all at once is like going to stress you out, I would just lower the carbs first and just track the carbs. And I would start at 50 grams of carbs a day if you think 20 is way too low. Start at 50 and make your way down. And then what I did, I started with dinners. I made dinners lower carb. And then eventually I incorporated lunch in lower carbs and then went down to breakfast. So that's definitely a, a way to get started also. Just don't overwhelm yourself. If it is too much, just start little, slow steps. Okay, track your food. If any of this is bringing you value, drop a bomb below. I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> yep, start it slow, take it one day at a time. Okay, that's my next tip. Start it slow, one day at a time. If you are just thinking about the bigger picture, like, oh my gosh, I need to lose 40 or 50 pounds, and that's the only number you think about, you're probably gonna fail. Like, you have to take it one day at a time. And, step, and set small goals each day that you can achieve. So the smaller goals will add up to the big goals. So like a goal could be, okay, today I'm going to get all my water in. I'm going to stay under 20 carbs. Or another goal could be, okay, I'm going to go to the restaurant and I will have um, mostly keto, but maybe I'll have a bite of something else. Like, don't stress over being super strict keto from the beginning and making it perfect because, you guys, you did not get to where you are in one day, so you're not going to learn and get it all right in one day either. Does that make sense? Drop a, uh, drop a bomb below again. <laughs>
Um, so you just, you really have to take it one day at a time. Because if you, if you set yourself up with too much load, it's just going to be too stressful and you're not going to want to do it anymore. So one day at a time, one goal at a time. Do not think of the bigger picture. Set small ones, even weekly ones. Write them down and see where you are within a week. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and this one, this next tip, I forget what number we're on because I went kind of out of order of how I have it written down. <laughs> um, don't stress about the scale. Okay, so if any of you can relate to stepping on the scale every day, drop a hand below. Okay, this scale is your enemy. <laughs> hate to tell you but you could be losing and the scale stay the same if that frustrates you drop a yes below I feel the same way I wish I could follow this step but I do step on the scale every day and I'm really trying this week to not do that I'm going all the way till Sunday to not step on the scale <laughs> hey Andrea Nice to find another Andrea spelt the same. Awesome. So, you could, when you're doing all the right things, when you're eating right, when you're exercising when you should, when you're getting all the water in, when you have all your electrolytes and everything, and the scale doesn't move, that doesn't mean it's not working. Okay, it takes time to transfer and transform your body into what you think is perfect or good. I mean, you guys m might be overweight and that might be why you're starting keto. Well, it didn't take you a week or two to get to the bad weight, so it's not gonna just drop like that. Yes, a lot of keto people do lose a lot of weight in the beginning, but if that's not you, don't stress over it, don't worry about it, because you could be um, shrinking, like losing fat, which is what keto is. You're going to shrink down inches. That doesn't necessarily mean the weight is going to change on the scale. And muscle weighs more than fat, so at the same time that you're building muscle, you're shrinking the fat. And there's something called a fat whoosh when you're doing all the right things in each cell, it will shrink down, but then your body fills it with water, so then it stays. Well, then you're still you know the next day you're still doing eating right and doing everything perfect your this fat cells shrink but then your body fills it with water and then fills it with water again and then eventually it will be like whoosh and you'll lose weight okay so don't get discouraged every day if the scale is not moving okay Whew. do you, any of you have any questions let me look through here Um, just got diagnosed pre-diabetic. How do I start? Definitely message me, Leah. Um, keto could definitely help you. Definitely start with um, tracking all your food and getting the grocery list. I can add you to the keto group I men mentioned earlier. Okay, and I think this last tip, which I think is number one, should be number one but everyone uh, is different on what they think this uh, is going by, is don't compare yourself to others, okay? Your shape and your weight and your metabolism is different than the person next to you and different than your mom's and different than your dad's, different than your best friend who got you started on keto, okay? You cannot compare yourself to others. Well, she might have lost 10 pounds and I've only lost two and... Oh, she's losing 15 in two weeks, and I've only lost eight. You know, you cannot do that. Do not stress over that. Do not compare yourself to others. Everyone's metabolism and body is acts and works differently. You cannot compare yourself to others. That is a huge, huge thing, and I know it's hard to do when you see your friends losing weight faster and they're looking better than you think you are, but you definitely cannot do that it's just it's really hard on yourself you might end up failing because well I don't see results like that person so I might as well quit 
Do not do that. Take it from someone who's been losing weight for over four years now. The keto diet is the best I've ever done. It's the best diet I've been able to stick to, which I'm now calling it a uh, way of eating, way of life. It is going to be the way I do my whole rest of my life is keto. It's the easiest thing to stick to. You literally can find any recipe of whatever food you're craving and make it. Like, I'm about to, ready to make some fat bombs after I get off here with you guys. <laughs> like, I'm ready for some sweets, so I'm going to have some fat bombs. Let's see, Elizabeth. Okay, totally missed all but number three. Could you post them or instant message me? Yes, I can post all of them. It might not be in the number that I say on here because I totally forget. I went on and off, but <laughs> hi, Sherry. Awesome. So, are there any questions before I get off here? And again, if you guys are live with me, drop a heart. If you're watching replay, drop a sunflower. If you are new, drop the word new. If you want to be added to a keto group with grocery lists and um, total amazing support, drop the word group below. And please share this out. Let me know when you have so I can thank you. And yes, you guys are the best. Um, is there any questions before I jump off here? <clears throat> Awesome, Andrea. She says she has hypothyroidism and it's the first diet that actually works. It does work. Like, I totally love this. I've got my mom doing this and she's tried every diet with me in the past and totally amazing. So if you guys are new, make sure you add me on Facebook if you want to be added to the group. Otherwise, I'm going to get off here and let me just go through them real quick. And, um, okay, might not be in quite order. Number one, do your research. Make sure this is the diet for you. It's been around for 120 years, so right there I was sold. Number two, grocery shopping list. Make sure you plan ahead and figure out what recipes you want. I look on Pinterest all the way, all the time. Um, number three, when planning to go to a restaurant, you know, plan ahead. Look up the website, look up the menu see what you're gonna have before you get there that way it's already in your head that this is what you're gonna eat um, take a daily vitamin and make sure you have electrolytes and plenty of water oh this one I did not mention <laughs> take before pictures weight and measurements okay please do that before you start this diet or if you haven't yet and you already started this diet take before pictures you can always tell in before pictures if you're losing especially if the weight doesn't drop like I mentioned um, surround your oh see here's another one I'm just like all over the place <laughs> surround yourself with positive people okay you guys there's gonna be a lot of haters there's gonna be a lot of family members that don't agree with this diet and they're gonna try to talk you out of it and this is for you guys you guys chose this diet, so you need to surround yourself with positive people. People who are negative and try to talk you out of it, they've either one, never done it, or don't understand it, and they're just going to try to bring you down, and that's just going to put you more sad and depressed like it was making for me. So surround yourself with positive friends, positive people, like this group that I mentioned, totally amazing people in there. And we will support you and help you. I will help you if you need help with tracking or anything. Just totally message me. Add me on Facebook. But surround yourself with others, with positive people. All right. Track your food. My fitness pal. That's how I do it. Start it slow. Take it one day at a time. Small goals. And then work towards your big goals. Don't stress about the scale because there could be a fat whoosh that will eventually happen if you've been doing this for a while. And don't compare your results to others. Every person is different. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. <clears throat> Hi, Joyce. Hi, Kay. Um, yes, Wendy, calories count too. Um, mine's usually around 1,400. I'm not an expert expert on what, how many calories you should have a day. It's basically based on your height and weight. So when you put it into MyFitnessPal, and adjust all your macros it will tell you if you want to lose weight how much calories you should do but I'm usually around 1400 
Okay. And the most important thing, love yourself, people. Just love yourself. Block everyone who's hating out and just do you. Be the better you. Become the better you. Let them be them. If they're hating and jealous and trying to talk you out of it, for me, that personally just means that they're jealous. Um, <laughs> who knows? But surround yourself with positive people such as myself. And I will help you get along through this. I've been doing it since January. And, you know, really do not stress if you have a cheat day or a cheat meal. Do not stress about it. We're only human, okay? Like, right? We're human. We're not robots. It will take a while to get this down. It took a while to get the way you were. And so you, you just got to give it time, guys. And this is the best diet and lifestyle ever. Awesome, Louise. 30 pounds down. That is so amazing. I'm excited for you. Okay, well, if this brought you value, drop a 10 below and please share this out to your page, to any keto groups you have. And um, yeah, definitely message me if you want to be part of the keto group or if you have any questions about keto in general, how to get started, all of that. Please message me. All right, well, you guys have a good rest of your night. And um, I am, again, hashtag Andy Girl. See you later.